Causes of Hypothyroidism. Hi, Dr. Davidson here from ProgressYourHealth.com. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about some of the causes of hypothyroidism. Some causes of hypothyroidism can be genetic. It very much tends to run in the family. There's a couple of different hypothyroid. There's hypothyroidism that just runs in the family and the thyroid's low. And there's also something called Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disease that too is genetically related, but it's where the immune system actually attacks your own thyroid gland, creates these antibodies, and you'll see the thyroid decrease in function. Also other causes of hypothyroidism is dietary factors. There is a correlation between gluten, which is found in wheat, and Hashimoto's disease. Patients that are prone for Hashimoto's disease have Hashimoto's disease in their family. You'll tend to notice that they will uh, manifest that Hashimoto's hypothyroidism because of a gluten intolerance. So that's a very common cause of hypothyroidism. Also what are called goitrogens. They are naturally occurring substances found in food which actually suppress thyroid function. Some common goitrogens are soy, broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. Uh, supplements can actually cause hypothyroidism. Uh, people taking too much iodine. iodine. Iodine can actually suppress your thyroid function. A lot of patients think that taking iodine is good for their thyroid when actually too much iodine can suppress your thyroid and cause hypothyroidism. So a daily intake of iodine should be approximately about 900 micrograms to 1100 micrograms per day. Other causes of hypothyroidism, adrenal fatigue. Chronic stress on the system causes a real burden on your adrenal glands, which are little glands that sit above our kidneys. Adrenal glands are for our fight or flight. So when you have a lot of stress in your system for a chronic amount of time, you know, weeks, months, years, that puts a burden on your adrenals, which in turn puts a burden on your thyroid, and you'll see low thyroid. And that low thyroid from stress happens over a period of years. Usually when I'm, patients first come in to see me, this has been going on for about four years. I check their levels and say, hey, look, you're hypothyroid. It looks like you've probably been hypothyroid for several years, and they agree with that because the stress that comes with that adrenal fatigue can take years to manifest because it's very insidious, but very common. Um, actually, probably most of my patients that I see are hypothyroid from chronic years of stress. Also, menopause. When women go through menopause, the estrogen and progesterone decrease. That um, decrease of estrogen and progesterone puts a real burden on the system. Women have a lot of symptoms with menopause, insomnia, hot flashes, forgetfulness, um, you know, dry skin for their brain, their concentration. So that stress on the system while women are going through menopause actually causes that thyroid to decrease in function, which makes things even more hard when they're going through menopause. Um, also, medical treatments. When people have gone through surgeries, such as radiation treatments, um, other surgeries, having a removal of their thyroid, when some patients are hyperthyroid, sometimes surgeons will want to remove part of that thyroid gland, and that usually ends up making them hypothyroid. Or when they radiate the thyroid gland from Graves' disease, or like I said, hyperthyroidism, um, they do something with the thyroid gland, the end result is always hypothyroidism. So it's always good to work on the thyroid with that. So be sure to check our next video out in this series called Treatment for Hypothyroidism to learn more. For more information, visit our website, www.progressyourhealth.com.